Hi, my name is Gap Roche, and today I'm going to show you a Lush haul. This is the Lush. It smells nice. Hello, YouTube. So today we went to Lush and spent a my lot entire of money. money. <laughs> so we're going to show you what we got. First of all, this tote. Four dollars. Limited edition. Four dollar tote. Says Lush on it. It's got some moon plain on the back. It's got some pink and purple, which is our favorite colors. Yeah, Roche seems to like it. So first off, we got this box full of rose scented things. Inside, there is a rose jam shower gel and a rose argan body conditioner, and then it comes wrapped in this cute rose Ooh. Ah. handkerchief. Like oh, scarf, it. what is it? Napkin wrap, not wrap. Continuing on the box trend, look up. We have the happiness box, psychedelic app. And then inside of this is the scrubby body butter, and then a yuzu and cocoa shower cream. Looks like a tropical sort of scent. It smells super good, and apparently they don't make it anymore. So if you're sad about that, let me know. Thing that I'm really excited about that was free were Lush got new sample pots. They look like the regular pots, but smaller. And we got samples of Once Upon a Time. I love this lotion. This lotion smells like the So White bath bomb or shower gel if you've ever had that before. I don't know if it's seasonal, but I do know that it came out recently and I absolutely adore it. A woman gave us two, so I have so much. Speaking of lotion. So this is Sympathy for the Skin, which is one of Megan's favorite lotions. It's a hand and body lotion. I've been out of lotion for a while, so I was looking for something different. I had tried Charity Pot and it worked out really well, but I was in the mood for a change. It's got bananas and sandalwood and cocoa butter. I also had some pots to turn in and so I got a free fresh face mask. This is Love Lettuce, which I have always avoided because I don't like lettuce, but there's no lettuce in this. It's green, and that's why it's called Love Lettuce, but it smells like Earl Grey tea. It has honey and lavender and almonds, and it smells super good. And after it was washed off of my body, my body really smelled like Earl Grey. It was put on my hand. It's not like too overpowering, but it does leave a scent, which I like. I finished Angels on Bare Skin, and I didn't want to use it again, so I got the Bouche de Noel? Yeah. The woman in the store described as Thanksgiving in a pot. It looks kind of like that. It has cranberries and it has, I think, some orange in it. It's kind of like earthy. We tried this out in the store and I think I'm really gonna like it, especially in conjunction with the love lettuce. Fun fact about me, I really enjoy solid soaps. Um, they're generally more concentrated, which means you get more for your money because you're not paying for like the water that makes it a cream. And Lush has started this new initiative, which is Get Naked, where they have naked versions of all of their Christmas products. Naked meaning no packaging, which basically just means it's solid. So this is a solid shower gel. It is a very berry scent. Something interesting about the shower gel specifically is the texture is a little bit waxier, which means it's going to stay on your skin and be um, more hydrating. The other naked product that we got was for me, and I will show you a close up, you know, in post, but I'm going to put it away for now because it's melty. So this is a body conditioner that you use in the shower, like a bar of soap, but is instead of lotion. So it smells bubbly, fizzy, like a like champagne-y type of like party scent. It's kind of citrus too, which I like. Which was interesting because I feel like a lot of their Christmas products are super citrusy. I'm really excited about this because similarly to the Naked Body Wash, it's a little waxier. It has more of a concentrated amount of moisture. And so I think that this is going to work better than the potted forms for me personally. Another citrusy Christmas item that we got is the Christmas Citrus Soap, which I'm not going to open, but it smells citrusy in kind of the way that the shooting star soap smells, although they still are making that this year, so it smells a little bit different. Last in our haul is something that I bought for me, new shampoo and conditioner. I don't remember what these are called. It's very lemon. It's supposed to be clarifying. It has like 
four different types of lemon product in it. I thought they smelled pretty like good and interesting together. So I have the shampoo and the conditioner. And that is everything that we got today at Lush. It's a pretty big haul for us. Christmas time is my favorite time of year for Lush because Oh my god, so many products. Most of the things that we got were seasonal. If you have a favorite Lush Christmas product, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your favorites are, maybe from this season or past seasons. And we'll see y'all later. Bye bye We'll see y'all later. Bye bye Ooh, I tasted that. The lemon? Yeah. Oh my. That was strong. That was a mistake. I was just trying to mime it. Look it. A little bit. <laughs> this has been my lush haul. Thanks. Bye. -bye.